Alec Hutto has battled that all week. He's playing, he's snapping the football on long snap, and he's playing safety. He is not playing offense, trying to limit his time on the field. Grooms out of the gun, rolls right. Under pressure, completes it to the near sideline, breaks one tackle, and he's going to be wrapped up at about the 32. On the reception is Kevin Moore, a split receiver. He ran it out, caught it in front of Hutto, 13 yards and the first down. That was the inside slot there. You had your uh, corner, which is, um, well, I wanted to say Gleason, but it's actually Raymond McKay with the coverage on the wide out and uh, Hutto trying to come up and take that slot, man. Twin receivers right and left. Grooms looks to throw. It's a little pressure, throws the Miami screen. We miss him once, miss him twice, and we come up and catch him from behind. Outstanding play by Elliott Weed and Raymond McKay closing on the play. They ran what I like to call the Miami screen. The wide receiver comes toward the center and catches a little underneath screen. Ryan McBee was the receiver. Picked up a little bit of yardage on that play, but we were quick to cover. 3.38 to go in the first quarter. No score. Laverne. Looking at a second down. They give it to the inside man on the handoff. He's got a first down. And more. Hutto and Javon Neal combine on the stop as Ronte Franklin carried for 10 yards and the first down. Bob, this limits what you can do with your defensive substitutions because Laverne believes in this no huddle. Yeah, they're, they're get Grooms flips one out in the flat. Complete to Hodges, Terry Hodges, on about an eight or nine yard route, and Laverne in business. It makes it very tough to interchange defensive players because Laverne huddles at the line of scrimmage. Grooms, inside handoff. Picks up about two. He's right at the stick. Elliot Wheat and Keenan Dye combine on the tackle as Ronte Franklin carries. And Tommy, like you said right there, with the injury bug that's hit us, we've got people playing both ways a lot right now, and it's hard to get any kind of uh, changes in there as far as personnel goes. And um, the, you know they're getting a little winded out there when they haven't had time to make any substitutions. Well, the defensive linemen really, really are put to a test in an offense like this. First and 10, Wolverines. 2.30 and the clock running. They move. Go. That'll slow it down just a little. The line of scrimmage was the 36 of Lebanon, and they will back that up five yards on the motion. They had a tackle move. That was Mike Holland. Ball's going to be spotted now at the 41 of Lebanon. First and 15 for the Wolverines. No score in the first quarter. Grooms, shotgun snap. They throw the bubble screen out here on the near side, and a great job by Jordan Stafford as he comes up and fills and keeps that running back or that uh, Landon Grooms. That wasn't Landon Grooms. Landon threw it. Stafford. That was 16 is who that was. That was Kevin Moore. Their slot man ran parallel to the line of scrimmage, what they call the bubble screen. Just flip it out there to him, almost like a running play. Picked up about five on that play. Grooms out of the gun, rolls left. Wants a big load here. Throws it deep toward the end zone, and that is incomplete. Jordan Stafford back there with Crudup and Hutto, and I don't know if there wasn't a little back and forth action amongst the defensive backs and the wide receiver. We had him double covered. Whew, maybe a little push and shove, a little bump and grind. Oh, no, 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 uh, nobody got hurt there. <laughs> no blood, no foul. No, that's right. Third down and 11. A minute 39 to go here in the first quarter. Laverne looking, as I said, as a third and 11. They're at the 37 of Lebanon. They've got to get almost to the 25-yard line. Grooms, inside handoff. Mm. Breaks it across the 30. He'll have the first down. Just enough for the first. Franklin on the carry. He lined up next to Grooms. Came on the inside handoff. They needed 11. They got 14. Had him on the ropes right there, Tommy, with the third and long. And uh, 
allowing them to get that first down, that kind of hurts right there. But you, you got to just dig your heels in, bow your neck, get a little tougher on defense. Carruthers is out. John Kaysen is in at the nose for Lebanon. Lebanon's gone to a three-down lineman look. Grooms, the bubble screen on the other side to Moore. He picks up about five or six. Just put his head down and ran into a pile. Terry Hodges, excuse me, on the carry, on the reception for the Wolverines. Terry, quickly, what about Grooms throwing the football? Tommy, six out of eight, 51 yards here in the first quarter for Grooms. Just a sophomore. Grooms with a snap, rolls right, in and out of traffic, going to run it and gets knocked down. Blue Devils with some good containment. Kaysen on the stop along with Keenan Dye. Kaysen, short, thick, very physical at the line of scrimmage. Keenan Dye comes out. Carruthers comes back in. Reeves and McLean are your defensive ends. Shotgun set for the Wolverines. Two receivers right, two left. Grooms, half roll to the left, throws back in the middle, touchdown Wolverine. Outstanding throw, and on the reception, Kevin Moore. On a little turn in, check that, that was not Moore, that was Ryan McBee. Ryan McBee on the reception, on a little turn in, quarterback Grooms did it exactly like you draw it up. Roll left, pull up, throw back, touchdown. Joe, you've got the call of the PAT attempt. Thank you, Tommy. Ware on the attempt for Laverne. Here's the snap, the hold, the kick. It's up, and it's good. With 16 seconds left to go in the first quarter, Laverne leads Lebanon 7 to nothing. Back after this 30-second timeout. Lentive lineman Francisco Alvarez for Laverne. He's a man. There's the kick, end over end affair. Jacob Maynard takes it on about the 13. Runs it up the middle, got some room, and he's across the 35 yard line. Jacob Maynard, 24 yards on that return. And teams have been a little, little conservative about kicking the football to Lebanon, and Laverne kicked it to us. And the Blue Devils with outstanding field position at the 36. Well, the best way to stop that Laverne offense is for us to do something offensively. Gun, Maynard, high snap. Gives it to Jacob Maynard. Inside, twist and turns, perhaps for one, two, maybe. Lebanon in the gun set. Two backs on the right side of Matthew Maynard. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Laverne leads Lebanon 7 to nothing. We'll send it back for a 60-second break. This is Blue Devil Football on WANT FM 98.9 Lebanon. We'll be back in 60. When he threw the ball down the field. Lebanon has it first and 10 after the kick return. Ball will be spotted at Lebanon's 38. Matthew Maynard with the carry off the right side. Gallops out near the 50, and he's knocked out of bounds right at the midfield stripe. Maynard off the right side for a dozen yards and the first down. Lebanon looking strong running the football, Terry Stafford. What about the tailback tonight? Tommy Seven carries 40 yards for Jacob Maynard, almost six yards a carry. That's pretty healthy, and that's, that's winning football right there, Bob Lee. Well, that's you getting outside, too, and you're running downhill. And uh, the pile's falling forward, and he's doing a good job of getting a good body lane, picking up some yardage. First and 10, Lebanon at the midfield stripe. Pull a guard, give it to Maynard right up the middle. Across the 45, into Laverne territory. Spot's going to be at the 42, 43-yard line. Another healthy gain on first down. Tyler Cortner, great block as he pulled from that guard position. A deep tailback trap. You don't see that a lot. Good looking block. He's uh, you know, he's playing that left guard position. He pulled, kicked out that right tackle, did a good job. Normally you'll see the trap for the fullback. We give it to the fullback, Benford, and he's across the 40. First down yardage for Lebanon. Ball's going to be spotted at the 39. 
And Terry Stafford, what about that stat for William Benford? Tommy coming into tonight's game, 182 carries for William Benford. Still hasn't seen the end zone. No touchdowns and 182 carries. He and I have got something in common. Neither one of us have ever scored a touchdown at Lebanon. He's got a heck of a lot better shot than I ever did. He's got more carries. Yeah. <laughs> First and 10, Lebanon. They give it to Maynard off the left side. He breaks ground. Busted outside again, and he gets to about the 45. He went backwards about three yards. Looks like he hit the wall, bounced off, and tried it again. It's like a ricochet. <laughs> yeah. He goes up and hits the pile, knocks it back two or three yards, and kicking it outside. Doing a good job staying on his feet. You remember that cartoon character, Ricochet Rabbit? Yeah. That, that may predate you a little bit. No, I know remember. a couple of these old guys in this booth remembers Ricochet Rabbit. <laughs> but he hit what looked like a wall, bounced backwards, kept those feet moving, and got positive yards. Second and seven for Lebanon. The ball's at the 36. Maynard under center wants to throw. Out in the flat to Crudup. He catches it and is immediately met by Marky Goff, outside linebacker for Laverne. Still a good little pickup, Tom. He's picking about five yards. Going to leave us about third and two, so um, good positive play. Got forward progress on that play. The ball's going to be spotted at the 31. Lebanon third down. And two, Matthew Maynard under center, tight end on the right, two receivers left, quarterback sneak, first down. Good job. Picked up about three, maybe four on that, on that carry. I like that time on the third and short, staying underneath the center opposed to going back in the shotgun. You got that close, you just you barrel forward, you, get, you got a good chance of picking that up. And less chance for something bad to happen. And Lebanon went on the quick count. 9.30 to go in the first half. Laverne leads 7 to nothing over the Blue Devils. Lebanon in the eye. First and 10. Hand it deep to Matthew Maynard, and he gallops off that left side for a gain of about five. There again, still moving the ball, giving good positive yardage right here. Just don't need to shoot yourself in the foot. Hold on to the football and don't do anything stupid. Joe, it's not quite a sweep and it's not quite off tackle. They're running that stretch play and just going right at the edge of the defense. Yes, Tommy, it looks like Lebanon controlling the center of the line of scrimmage uh, with a backup center in there. We're doing pretty well. Second down and four for the Blue Devils. With some movement in the line, no call. <laughs> And Laverne collapses the middle. Jacob Maynard ran into a Maynard. pile of white jerseys. Tommy, some of these, some of these uh, linemen that are in there right now. You got D.J. Ellis. You got Daniel Winter. You got. Tyler Cortner, these are names that we don't call every week, and they're they're stepping in there and doing a good job on that line. Flip flop the lineman. Maynard wants to throw down, out, up, throws it deep toward Crudup in the end zone. Touchdown, yes. Big Blue. Hello, a boy. Crudup with a bad shoulder catches the out and up for the touchdown. Pretty, pretty, pretty pass. Laid it up there. Gave him a chance to go upstairs and pull it down, Tommy. He goes up and pulls it down for a big, big, big blue score. Man coverage on Robert Crudup, and that does not pay. Joe, you've got the call of the PAT attempt. Thank you, Tommy. Sampson to hold. Gibson to attempt. The snap. The, the hold. The kick is up, and it's good. With 8.06 left to go in the second quarter, Lebanon draws the even with Laverne, 7-7. Seven, seven. Back after 30 seconds. Deep to return, a pair of receivers. 